Okay. This is no eBay, no Amazon, the vendetta. I put this video up, what, nine months ago, last summer. And every day there's a comment. Every day there's a comment. Or every other day there's, no, there's a comment. Every, yeah, there's a comment or two every day. Because it hasn't even been a year yet. And there's uh, 405 comments. And I don't respond to a lot of them, but... I don't know. I woke up, I worked out, came back, and I saw this. And you know what? Today is the day. Today is the day because I am sick and tired of this crap. I don't agree at all. In order to start your own, you have to have, you only have two options. Okay. Number one, you have a limited mindset. Two options. You come from a rich family where you inherit a farm from your grandfather where you can invest money on your own business, get a loan from a bank, and get yourself fucked up. My, my question is, how about the money to start up? Where will it come from? At least Amazon gives you the opportunity to start from scratch and save some cash to go on your own. Otherwise, your advice is full of nothing. All right, so what I'm going to do for that is do this. Someone beat me to it. <laughs> Someone beat me. It's just impossible. You can't do it. It's, no, no. And then I missed this and I saw it because of a conversation that was going on. And I actually know who responded. Um, I'm going to read it to you because it's a mixture of commentary. I don't agree at all. In order to start your own, you only have two options. Two, two fucking options. You come from a rich family where you inherit a farm from your grandfather where you can invest some money on your own business. Get a loan from the bank and get yourself fucked up. Now, my question is, how about the money to start up? Where will it come from? At least Amazon gives you the opportunity to start from scratch. And as time goes by, you might save some cash to go on your own. Otherwise, your advice is full of nothing. I read that four times and... I'm going to give y'all one hit. Someone talked about it. Okay, go to Amazon right now. Go to Amazon, get the Kindle version. Don't wait for the paperback. You will read story after story after story after story of people who started businesses just like I said in the video. Some of these folks didn't even have any money. So let's go back to this. Let's go back to this wonderful fuckery footage. All right, you only have two options. Really? I started Conundrum Publishing for a total of $298. For you to make any decent money on Amazon or eBay, you're going to need way more than fucking $298. I've been there. I've sold on both. So you don't have two options. If your mind is like this, really small and tight, and I can only do this, and if they give me permission, yes, then I can do some stuff. But if you're like me, who's like, fuck it, I'm going to be successful regardless of who says otherwise, then you got more than one choice. I don't see it as one choice or second choice or two choices, three choices, four choices. I see unlimited choices, which sometimes is part of the problem. And I'm just like, you know, this whole thing of, and I, I was in a group of someone's like, you know, it is just lunacy to talk about, you know, building wealth and not include Amazon. I, my mouth was just open. I was like, do you know how many companies that don't sell on Amazon? Germany has a whole manufacturing block that doesn't fuck with Amazon. And I'm just, uh, no, the whole block, the uh, Midatel, I believe that's the name of it. And I'm, I'm just sitting here like, I don't believe this. I don't believe this. And this is one of the reasons that I created this. Um... And I, I'm, this is going to be really, really good. Really, really freaking good. Let's see, go here. Uh, here. The third installment's dropping today. This is just... This guy, not Amazon. He created his own product. This guy, watch, watch Dominic, Dom B. He is eight years old in Australia and he just said hey I want to make knives and he just started doing it he started when he was 14 and now he's 18 hello 
The success is waiting for you if you open your fucking eyes and go look for it. Okay, so there's going to be a third one here. And this is a really good one. Really good one. So be sure to check that out. But I'm sitting here and I'm just like totally shocked that so many people think so poorly of themselves. Yeah, I said it because if you're going to come on YouTube and leave these slack mouth, bitchy ass little statements that say, I cannot be successful. I don't feel confident enough to be successful. I really don't know what the fuck to do. So since that's my limited thinking, I want it to be your thinking. And I say I divorce myself from the concept because we are in some of the greatest times in history for people to start businesses. Will everyone become a billionaire? No. Will everyone become a millionaire? No. But if you can earn enough money to pay for your life, that's a win of your own creative energy. You free yourself from a huge level of bullshit. But there's so many people who like eating shit. You cannot tell me you don't like eating shit. You cannot even lie to me because if you've been eating shit year after year after year, you develop a taste for it. You start going, ooh, where's my shit? Because you like it. And then when someone says, hey, and holds a light up in the darkness and says, there's another way. You can do this. Sure. And all you people out there who are like, well, you know, he's promoting his products. You damn skippy. That's exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> That's exactly. It's like, no, no. Give us advice. Don't make no money, please, please. So we can all sit around the poverty campfire singing kumbaya, kumbaya. I really am disappointed with the generation we have now because it is fully deeply imbued in this entitlement stuff that someone you don't know should come into your life and help you out of obligation not of the charity or some altruistic pursuit no 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 it's just someone owes you something because someone has told your sorry ass that people should just give you stuff because you showed up well my friends i have some bad news for you we're about to go through a major economic cultural even gender shift that if you don't have the skill sets you don't have the hustle you don't have the ability to make yourself work when there's no one behind you going yeah boy yeah girl get it done get it you're gonna be in trouble this world is gonna be owned by the self-driven the hard-working they're gonna own this world and you're gonna be working for those people Either you're going to become one of those people or you're going to work for one of those people if you are lucky enough to get a fucking job. There's a guy, Andrew McAfee. He's a professor at MIT. Google him. He and his partner, they talk about this. We're running. We're hit. We got this. These two things. Technology is moving here and jobs are moving here. As technology increases, jobs decrease. We've, we're heading towards something that's really, really going to be strange. But if you are a job creator, if you're innovating, if you're starting your own stuff, if you're building your own websites, if you're going out into the world and starting a business, I'm not going to say you're going to be spared, but you got a better shot. Would you want to be in the jungle with a knife or would you want to be in the jungle with an M16 and six clips? What would you prefer? And that's where people are. I mean, it's like some of the strangest stuff. And when you uh, <laughs> get to this thing, uh, let's go to this one. I tell people the truth. You can make money online. You can make a lot of money online. But is it going to be fast, quick, easy, and breezy? Probably not. That is one of the things that grabs, that just burns my buttons when it's like, well, you know, he's just trying to get money and he's lying. No, I'm not lying to anyone. I'm telling you the truth. That's why one of the reasons I'm hated that. No, you're not going to press a button and start making $10,000 a month. And if you do get one of these Internet packages and you start making $10,000 a month and you don't build the skill sets to maintain that money goes up, money goes down. And then you are out of the framework. 
Because I'm watching some, and I just see where it's heading. And for those of you who are long-time viewers, and you've watched me rant and talk stuff, how many times have I been wrong about the eBay and Amazon thing? How many times? About three years ago, in my writing group, I said that Amazon was going to reduce in a uh, writer's income and they were like no and everyone's going like no because other platforms are going to drop crop up and they're going to be forced to keep the 70 percent and some people who were drinking that crack because i mean they weren't smoking it they were drinking it because they were consuming it and let it just run around in their belly they're like no they're probably going to raise it to 90 percent. all of this hopeful stuff and i'm just like no 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 i don't see it so lat you know and i just recently started putting stuff back on kindle I just heard that Kindle Unlimited, and there was this article where authors had their books at Kindle Unlimited, and they were losing like 50% of their income and 75% of their income. I thought they were going to monkey around with the percentages. But once again, I was wrong about how it was going to happen, but I was 100% spot on that it was going to happen. So go ahead. Hate me. You know, most of my predictions come to be. I'm wrong like maybe 12 to 20% of the time. So keep going ahead and saying that because... I sit in groups purely to watch the bitching and whining. I don't contribute. I'm just there to watch, oh, shit, this happened today. Fuck, eBay's doing this today. I don't know what's going on with Amazon. Oh, fuck, my account got suspended. How can I get my account back? Because if I don't get my account back, I won't be able to have money to buy little JoJo some milk. I'm, I see this every day. And I'm like, people are still going, yeah, that's the way to go. That's the way to go, yeah. If you're not doing that, you're just crazy. And see, this is the thing. There are some people who are doing eBay and Amazon who are extremely busy, business savvy people. So their results are going to be totally different than yours. And that is the Kool-Aid and the, the all of the other stuff that's going down. So I'm making part two of this that you need to start some kind of enterprise. I don't care if your first year you only make an extra 50 bucks a, a month. I really don't care because you're building business experience. You're learning how to deal with customers. You're setting stuff up. But all of this, I just want to set it and forget it and walk away and go to the beach and rub my belly and drink umbrella drinks. Bet you haven't earned that. This is the thing. I It drives me crazy when I hear someone's like, yeah, I've been on the point. Yeah, I need to go on vac vacation for what? You haven't done shit. You've been sitting around all day. You ain't done shit, but you need a what? A vacation from boredom? What the hell do you need a vacation for? And when you start to feel that you have to earn your way in this life, when you have to build stuff, contribute stuff, give stuff to the world, you're going to have a different thought process. You're not going to make mistake after mistake over and over again. You'll make them the first time. You'll learn from them and move on. But I'm just amazed at the commentary on this video because how dare I touch those sacred cows? Oh, God, they'll be there forever. You know, uh, I'm making a whole bunch of money. I don't know. People are like, there's no money on that eBay and them. It depends on what you sell. depends on where you are. depends on how much money you have. Everyone is not created equal. As much as people want to go that we're all equal. <sighs> Look at the results. Look at the results. That's all I got to say. Look at the results. Because you have people who are just hell-bent on hoping and i'm about to address something else too i've got this book i've read it there's validity in it to it but see there are people who will have the four hour work week but you know what's going to happen most of them have worked 60 70 80 90 100 120 hour work weeks for years before they got to the four hour work week because they build expertise, they build businesses, there was something else that was going on. And it's a great title. And if you do the research on this, they wanted to uh, name the book How to Live Like a Drug Dealer. And the publisher comes and was like, no, we're not going to do that. Because they were scared little bitches. It still would have sold. I think it probably would have sold even more. But... <laughs> because <laughs> that's exactly what Tim Ferriss was. He had a supplement company. He was selling that stuff. So funny. But... When you when you have this, this madness, this this whole of I just can't do it. I mean, okay, let's let's just have a come to you come to you meeting. Come to yourself. If you're deficient right now, you know that can change. If you don't know how to build a website, you know that can change. If you don't know how to sell, you know that can change. 
There are many of you who are locked into low level expectations, low level thinking, low level bullshit. And then you want and then you get mad when someone doesn't want to drink that shit with you. Like I said, there are some of you out there who like the taste of shit because you've been eating it every day for the last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 fucking years. And then you cannot tell me otherwise, because if you have any integrity, if you have any, any internal fortitude at some point you're gonna say you know what fuck this i'm not eating shit anymore i'm not eating shit anymore i'm a human i'm a man i'm not fucking eating shit i'm gonna go out and get me some steak i'm gonna go out and get me some carrots and some potatoes and i'm gonna put this together but as long as you are a scared little bitch you're gonna keep eating shit and try to convince people who don't like the taste of shit that it tastes good yeah i'm talking to you so what i'm doing and this is, I got, this is going to be a busy week. This is going to be crazy. But this is the new thing. Yes, I am shamelessly fucking self-promoting. Telling you, and I'm telling you to do the same thing. I'm telling you to build a website. I'm telling you to create products. And I'm telling you to go out there and contribute to the world and share your shit. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So I made some changes. 30 days to $3,000. And that's for those of you who are here at the end of this video. Uh, there's some really cool stuff that's going on and I'm going to explain to you how I'm building it up because it's different from 30 days to 2,500. All right. You get in now, it's 99 bucks. No problem. Plus I'll make a little spiff, but what's happening is this is done real short and sweet stuff. Now, last time when I did 20, 30 days to 2,500, it was a startup base, you know, go out and build, build, build. Well, this is all you're building right here. This is where you make your money. Marketing, developing this. This this is where the money happens. And then once you get the money coming in, then you put the structure in. And then if you know your business is really classy and moving, then you gotta go legit. You gotta do an LLC and so and put those stuff together. But see, you don't do any of this because this is what most people do. They do this shit here at this stage. But the thing is by doing this and doing this. And doing this, you get the information to make this super tight. And that's one of the things that people miss. Because I, I, I made some of the same mistakes, you know, when I had the uh, storage auction business and some other mistakes. I actually made more. And that's one of the reasons I can give you this stuff and say, look, yeah, it's going to be hard. You know, you, 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 you unhook from eBay and you unhook from Amazon and you start going out there trying to do this shit for yourself. It's going to be hard. It's going to be a lot of stuff coming at you. And then I know the big question is, well, there's eBay and Amazon out there. Why the hell should I unhook? Okay, great question. The answer is someday they are going to fuck you. And they're going to slide a plate across your table. You, you were getting like potatoes and stuff because they liked you and you were doing well. And, and the plate's going to have flies running around it. And you're going to see these big... Um, chunks and they're going to say well that's for you and they're going to close the door and leave you there with that plate full of shit and you got a choice because see they're not going to make you eat it they're not going to make you eat it they're going to induce you to eat it because if you want to continue to associate with them you're going to have to continue to eat that shit but you have the option of saying I'm getting up from the table and I no longer will eat shit or I will never eat shit and that's the reason that I'm saying this and putting these videos up because I was not going to do another video. And then I'm just like, OK, every day, get the comments, the comments, the comments, the comments, the comments. And there's so many people who, for some reason, feel that they can't do anything without the permission or the validation of someone else or some other platform. It's just like people who are really smart and they're like, well, you know, I'm not an attorney or anything or I'm not a CPA. And they go out and they lay out the law perfectly. But because they don't have that stamp of approval on their fucking ass, they're like, well, I can't say this with confidence, even though I'm confident that it's true. <laughs> so for those of you who want this uh, and do not put this in the comments, OK, don't do this. Do not do this. Everyone who comes in at the 99, because once I raise the price, then this, this will probably go away. But everyone who comes in at the $99 special, and once again, you got, I mean, you could, it's self paced. But I'm going to sit down and talk to you 
Skype or a Hangout or whatever, 10, 15 minutes after you do the course. Because once you go through the course, then you, you, you take the steps and, you, you know, fuck it. You go through the course and you go through all of these steps and not like, oh, I went through this month. Because, see, you will have to produce some results to go through the steps. I'll talk to you for 30 minutes about the business that you created or the business that you're working on. I'll make that deal. It's just part of this deal. Um, actually, what I will do. Yeah, because the thing is phase one. And see, this is the beauty here. Boom, 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 boom. And this is why I love doing stuff online. So what's the day? The day is May 4th through May 15th, because that's the next time I think I'm going to change stuff. Everyone. And see, this is something else that's really, really fun about this. After finishing the course. 2015. All right, here we go. When you build something, you can um, go ahead and say, hey, I can make these changes. Uh, I could do this. I could do that. I could do all kinds of things. I can make... You could give a scholarship. Uh, you could... There's a lot of things that you can do. There's a lot of things that you can do. So just some food for thought. Just the end of my rant and enjoy the rest of your day.